travelers over the Great Plains in the days before convenience stores were forced to use dried cow chips or even buffalo chips for fuel to cook over. See, wood was scarce and sagebrush was hard to light, but poop was plentiful. But I've been a little uneasy about cooking beef over their own cow pies. I mean, it just, just doesn't seem right somehow. There's something that strikes me as ironic. It borders on being abuse, and that's cooking steaks on a cow chip fire. It's like stewing you in your own juice. I'm not sure where we got the idea. I can think of no other case where a creature is finally rewarded with such a backhanded slap in the face. I mean, even cavemen were more sympathetic. There's no record they cooked on a stool. As much as a mastodon munches, couldn't have been lack of fuel. I'm a great fan of barbecued chicken. I savor and flavor the taste. But I don't think I'd be quite so eager were it cooked over dried poultry waste. And as much as I like country spare ribs, I think that I might hesitate where they grilled over porcine torpedoes from under the farrowing crate. There are chips of all kinds in abundance, from poker to micro to monk. Yet the cow stands alone as a victim to be fricasseed over a punk. We can blame it all on the Indians or custom or westward migration, but putting yourself in a cow's place that's really not much consolation. To put this whole thing in perspective, a comparable likeness would be cremating my cowboy carcass on a pile of these poems wrote by me. This is Baxter Black. From out there. Thanks, Baxter, for those culinary insights. We'll be right back.